Hey guys, heading back out this morning on our way back in yesterday. We noticed a nice little new spot. I'm going to go and check it out quickly and of course take Karen to the Brook Islands, her favourite place. Uh, to have a snorkel on the 3,000 year old brain corals, they're rather impressive. And we've only got that little weather window left, so we're going to head out and just have a fun afternoon. Hope you enjoy the video. I get to swim before we fish. Normally, I only get to swim if the fishing's a little quiet. Oh well, it's your day, so off you go. <laughs> After the sharks. You know why? <laughs> he wants me to hurry up and get in, because he wants to go fishing after this. Well, what it, well we've got to, it's our business. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have oh. put your hand back so quick. Oops. <laughs> Can't you tell? We don't have the camera guy today, and it's back to me filming, and that's why this video is going to be pretty average. <laughs> So, what did you see, honey? I saw about 50 slaty brim, my wall. Was, the floor was thick with them. Yeah. Uh, one little coral trout, which is a bit sad for a green zone. Yeah, definitely. A bit murky water. I think we need to come back before the wind gets up because it was, it was calm when we left the boat ramp, but now the wind's picked up and it's the visibility is not so good. Very good. And did you say there was a giant big GT swam up behind me? Yeah, right when you had your back turned. Oh. And you missed him. Oh damn. Oh anyway. well. So yeah. How's the coral? The coral's pretty good, actually. The big brain corals, they are a couple of thousand years old. Come back on another day and film them better. Yeah. Well, while I was having a sleep, you were catching a fish. Yeah, there's just heaps of bait out here, all over the bottom, and you can see these little fellas swimming amongst them. Thousands. Look, there's oh. his mate up there. Oh! Yeah, they quite often travel in massive schools. This is the Japanese spotted mackerel. These are actually good eating. Unlike the doggy mackerel, which are pretty dry, the Queensland school mackerel, these are really good eating. Very good eating. We might even take this one then. Yeah, okay. They're a very popular fish amongst anglers this time of year during the winter. Japanese spotted mackerel, not to be confused with the Queensland school mackerel. No, not that time. No! Trying to be clever. Watch this. Nothing happened. <laughs> Usually they'll eat just about anything if you retrieve it quick, although I've gone past the bait now. Is that the trick? Find the bait. Find the baits. Let's go back to where the bait is. Okay. Oh look! <gasps> oh, followed him up! Followed him up, see? Thousands of them here, do you reckon? Oh, the sounder doesn't lie. 
this they up at Curramine Beach they used to get thick every year like this and still do I think but this is a lot this is a nice little bank around in here and <laughs> thick everywhere Wait a minute, go. Now, I'm just using plastics for any bottom fish that might be amongst these bait schools but if we were to use metal slices here at the moment we'd be catching those spotted mackerel cast for cast but I'm just going to retrieve it like a slice See what for the best yep so, I didn't film that last one because I'm like, I'm not <laughs> filming all these. Very next cast. Very next cast. Oh, did he just jump? I don't know. The so it doesn't really matter what sort of lure you use, these things are going to nail them one after the other. Yep, little spotty. Beautiful. Good Maybe. sport fish too. You want to get your kids into sport fishing? Great fish to learn on. Always and they're yummy. Spaniards. And they actually freeze up okay too, don't they? Little spots? Yeah, these spit up. These, these freeze really well. It's it's just the doggy mackerel that don't freeze as well. Yeah. Oops. And it's very dry. This goes back to a meat similar to a Spaniard. That's all I'm using. Oh, I was using a plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a vibe, you can use anything. They'll smash the lot. Worked. Worked. <laughs> Just shows the importance of actually fishing on the fish because. That's right. First... And, having, and having a good lure too that does what you want it to do. That's more important too. But you were on the other side of the boat first and then the lure went under the boat. Then you threw out on this side and the lure went too far away from the fish. So then we moved the boat. Third cast. Right on the money. Right on the money. This might be a Trevally, I think. Little GT, I'd say, yeah. What bag? Off you go. I took your advice. And look at all I catch. <laughs> I'm going back to my own way. Thank you very much. <laughs> now I said the squiggly lure. <laughs> that was a nice release. Those flies are great. Yeah. We've got a couple of quick spotties there. I just ran across them in the middle of nowhere. So we grabbed two. That was it. That's all we need. Don't want to catch 50 of them. Um, so yeah, we're just going to uh, head in now. Karen had a great swim at the island. I got to catch a couple of fish. And we got to have a look around so we can find a few new spots. But I did find a good little bait ground here with some mackerel on it. So we'll keep that one in the bag. So if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if you only want some special tips, we send out by email only, head on over to our website, ryanmoodyfishing.com, and sign up for free email updates. Get into the great outdoors, keep fishing smarter, we'll see you next time.